A very warm welcome to this uh, great presentation. Um, we, I'm going to speak about a very interesting topic, which is an emerging topic, is wearable computing, prospects and challenges. And in this discussion, I will try to bring out some aspects of research, some aspects of wearable computing, which is uh, in the present trend, which is emerging. I appreciate uh, before my presentation, I really want to thank especially Krito 2020 team, Amity University, to make this conference happen and to take this great drive to make it a complete virtual conference. And especially the IEEE section of Uttar Pradesh, uh, special thanks. So let me take you to my presentation. Uh, at the very beginning of uh, this discussion, I let me take you to the whole uh, mankind is suffering and it's it's a prayer for them we know every country is in a lockdown situation we are having a, a fatality we are actually having a very different time than ever we are all connected virtually so it is a prayer for all those who really lost their beloved ones who are still vulnerable, who we are standing beside, we want to help them, we want to remain beside them to help, and we pray, may love not fear go viral, may thy stay strong, stay healthy and stay safe. With this, I just want to take you to the discussion points. I will have a little introduction, uh, then talk about wearables, present and future, wearables computing platform, research challenge and emerging trends. My friend, let's talk about this introduction. It's, it's just two decades and 21st century. We really witness these remarkable advances in technology, especially when we talk about Industry 4.0. And today you see we, due to COVID-19, we are absolutely in Industry 4.0. We are doing everything virtual. We have a virtual workspace. We are all attending this conference also in a virtual mode. So the common wearable markets really, it was dominated by the first tracking applications and you know, lot of smart watches, Fitbits, and all health kind of appliances, people are into this. But with the advancement of technology, you have seen that we really overcome many, many challenges, especially the digital signal processing, and the Bluetooth range and covering a lot of different aspects of hearing devices, we are actually progressing towards a convergence where we have this oilless earbud and traditional hearing devices are getting connected together to hearable or hearable technology. We generally call it hearable technology or hearable technology. So devices are, these are primarily intended to allow your media device to work together and to get physical data while you are using this kind of technology. So one of the terms which was actually coined in the year 2014 by Nick Han, who titled Hearable the New Oirable. So take a look at this uh, small dissection of uh, a device, very popular device, which is available in the market and you can see it has so many different types of sensors connected while you're hearing maybe your favorite music or you're, you're talking to somebody or you're doing some kind of hearing activity. You have earphone microphone, you have a controller, you have accelerometer, ambient microphone, antenna. That means it's not only allowing you to enjoy but at the same time, it is collecting all biological data through different sensors, which you can actually apply to find someone's better stress condition or not, someone's to help with certain AI-based solution to have a very healthy and a very comfortable living. So with this uh, snapshot discussion, what is the past, present and future? And you can see it's really going to be huge and after COVID, it's going to be much bigger to my understanding is 23, 24, you see almost like 24 billion market, which was projected year before last year. 
But imagine COVID situation is perhaps changing this market. So we still have an understanding of the trends and surely we look forward. So let's go ahead with the yearable market. It's a big market. It's, you can see it's about 24 billion by 2023, but <clears throat> projected between 2017 and 2013, the growth of this market mainly driven by smartphone. You can understand all of us are having not only one smartphone, but we have different types of wearable devices. It's increasing demand of the health monitoring applications and hearing aids. So how wearable is effective? Our ear, you can think like a USB, you see, it's an USB port. And it's unparalleled not only for the point of writing in the brain, but also you transmit sound, you get your favorite music played while your brain is reading and we are getting lots of data through this small earbud, intelligent earbud devices. So audible devices that tuck into ears will monitor your biological signals. We are talking about our biological signals to understand how emotionally we are stressed and how our brains are overtaxed. Sometimes we don't understand that. So there are sensors in Airable. There are many, many sensors coming up and the new sensor market is growing very big. There are different aspects and parameters, multiple sensor types like heart rate, body temperature, pulse oximetry, blood glucose level of different types and the new sensors are emerging and the future earbuds will be of a very intelligent device that you do a multiple you know, serving of different purposes using one single very sensitive device. So Yearable Computing Platform, I just want to talk about one platform which is very popular, eSense.io. It's the research space for Yearable Computing. It's actually a very ambitious project to, to bring all researchers together and it has a lot of APIs available. And if you're buying any specific device, which is eSense.io support, you can really get into research using that wearable devices. So eSense actually is an open wearable platform. It's a multi-sensory wearable platform for personal scale behavioral and analytic research. And it's a true wireless stereo earbud augmented with six axis internal motion unit. That means it can also track your body motions, including microphones and dual mode Bluetooth so that you can have, you know, both a Bluetooth classic and Bluetooth low energy communications. So eSense computing platform, an example I'm showing you that it's so, so fantastic. It has a processor, flash memory, speaker, multi-sensors, microphone, all in a very compact shape. And it's a very composed of like CSR, H670, a series, you can see it's actually SOC system on chip microphone per year, but, and it's very, very popular. It's getting tremendous amount of research. So this is actually an open and multi-sensory in yearable platform. You really go and take a look at this platform. You'll be amazed. It provides all kinds of API support to carry out the research. And the most important, the benefit is it's in the access of the raw data from the onboard sensor and you can apply machine learning techniques for specialized learning for specific cases. So you really have a very big platform coming up where you can apply machine learning in earbud signals. Some of the research challenges I'm talking from one conference which was held last year, YearComp 2019. This is the first international workshop on wearable computing. It was held in UK in the September 2019, immediate two, two months before the COVID uh, broke out. And it's a 10 specialized research paper came up which talked about the potential research opportunities and challenges. And it is just a beginning as I'm telling you that there are huge amount of research challenges. Some of the papers from year comp 2019, one of them is in-ear headphone inertial measurement accuracy and quality management. That becomes a very important research issue. Clean, noisy data and measurable, measure the intended signal spectrum for the determination of sensory responses. This is another research. Accelerometer and gyroscope based sensing and measure, measurement accuracy is another type. So from the same paper, same conference, same workshop, international workshop, accurate 
inertial motion tracking for determining movement patterns, minimizing interference. I will suggest you take a look at it and it's a fantastic beginning of a new era of computing. So what are the upcoming wearables? Wearable will run voice assistant like Alexa. That means you can give voice command just putting the earbuds and things will happen around you. And uh, you have multimodal inference algorithm coming up to actually allow health and ear VR applications through sensing and you can actually use your earbud to participate in ear VR applications. And uh, there are emerging trends which is coming up. You can see Apple and Samsung jointly together with South Korea leading players in the hearable devices market. Uh, this is also a market coming expected to be a growing at a very higher rate. And uh, there are gear, Iconex, it's a code free earbuds from different uh, vendors coming up. So these are the references I will ask you to take a look. One is the Earcom 2019 and eSense, eSense.io. And my suggestion is that Earable is going to be the next generation research. So perhaps we can actually mix machine learning, AI, and Earable together. So thank you for your patience hearing, and I'm sure you enjoy the conference for the rest of the day. Thank you so much.